Let's be honest, folks. Conservatives are not good at narrative control. They're not good at making culture. But things are changing. There have been a lot of post-liberals, as they're called, and libertarians, who seem to have been teaming up with conservatives, and thus, with these combined powers, narrative control is starting to revert back to regular people. The Daily Wire, mostly conservative, doing a fantastic job getting the ball rolling, starting culture, and challenging the establishment. But for the longest time, the establishment has been left. You've got colleges, you've got big tech, you've got media. They are still dominated by the left because the right is just not that good at building culture or controlling narratives. But there's something interesting that happens when you are correct. When you hit the nail, uh, uh, hit the nail in the head with the hammer so hard, you speak a truth so truthful that there's nothing they can do. The narrative they attempt to weave is insane, which brings me to OK Groomer. Y'all know about what's going on in Florida, the parental rights and education bill. Well, we have similar bills in, I think, Georgia, Ohio. I think Louisiana's got one. All of these states have begun introducing bills that basically say parents have rights. You have a right to know what your kid's being taught. You have a right to know how they're instructing your child in terms of medical mental or physical issues, and that teachers have to be informing the parents about what's going on. They cannot be discouraging students from talking to their parents. And as is the case with Florida, teachers, school employees or whatever cannot be giving instru classroom instruction on identity or orientation. Now, the concern from people on the right is that you've got creepy teachers who are having overtly adult conversations with children ages five through nine. That seems to be inappropriate to most Americans. Hey, we need to sign a permission slip. We need to approve of the school talking to our kids about these serious matters. And perhaps five through nine is too young. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the backlash from the left in a desperate attempt to try and regain control of the narrative is just worse. I give you this story from The Week, theweek.com. Uh, I'm fairly certain that The Week is considered to be a progressive outlet. I'm not entirely sure. They say the website of The Week is a U.S. version of a British magazine that publishes national and international news and commentary. This is from NewsGuard. The headline reads, why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? Yes, please keep going with that line. Say it more. Shout it from the high heavens. Make sure every single person in this country hears you say, why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? And there is going to, I don't know what's going to happen in November. You know, I'm, I'm reluctant to, to uh, predict a red tsunami. I think based on everything we're seeing, there will be one, but I far be it for me to know exactly what Americans are thinking. But let me just let me just tell you something. Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? You're not. Democrats aren't. Wow. Talk about a, a successful narrative control effort campaign or whatever you want to call it, or just in all in all honesty, honesty. Yeah, people are concerned about grooming. People are concerned about their kids who are five, five years old being sat down, having, having a teacher talk to them, giving them instruction on, on, on sexual matters. Parents don't want you talking to their kids about these things. They view it as grooming them. You are shaping their behavior towards things that these kids need to develop into naturally or with their per parents' guidance, not strange government employees. And they want to keep it a secret. That's what they oppose. That's why they oppose the, the uh, parental rights and education bill. We've seen many interviews from people where they're like, I have to now out my, my students to their parents. Yes, you do. They're the parents. They need to know about what's going on with their kids. I have to tell the parents about you know, what these kids are, are, are experiencing. Yes, you're just a teacher. You're not the parents. You know why they want to keep it a secret? Because they want to groom the kids. They've decided they should tell these kids what they should be doing with their lives, and they want to sever the connection between parent and child. The weak. 
Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? Suddenly, the American right is fairly exploding with accusations of sexual grooming against its political opponents because it's not about political opponents. When the bill was introduced, it was Democrats who decided that it was don't say gay. The bill prevents discussions on heterosexual marriage as well. And the left is coming out being like, you want to know how I'm dealing with this bill? Well, I'm not going to say pronouns. And it's like, okay, dude, first of all, you can say pronouns. You're just being obtuse. But I get your point. And we all get your point. The bill does prohibit a teacher talking to a student about man and woman. A teacher can't say, okay, everybody, I'm going to give you classroom instruction on traditional marriage. And conservatives are totally okay with that. So it seems like the post-liberal libertarian conservative faction are like, yeah, we understand you're not going to be talking to the kids about any of this stuff, be it traditional marriage between a man and a woman or, you know, gay marriage. And we're fine with that because we don't want our kids being groomed. And then the left is like, why, why are you attacking gay people? And it's just like, do you, do you think that only gay people are trying to have secret sexual conversations with five-year-olds? Is that your view? Apparently so. I just want you, I just this headline. Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? Because they, they care about their children. And they don't want predators going after their kids. What an, what an insane headline. He goes on to mention, uh, Joel Mathis mentions, Christina Peshaw, spokes, a spokesperson for Ron DeSantis, how she said it was an anti-grooming bill. It's not, a, it's not a very nice word to be sure, wrote the Amer- American Greatness author. But the right must decide, do we prefer to play nice with perverts who are very sexually interested in our children, or do we prefer to stand up for the innocence of childhood against societal forces that seek to mutilate little kids for political gain? It's hard to know how much of this is sincere hysteria and how much is ugly McCarthyist politics. Mostly the latter, probably. In its normal usage, Groomer suggests a sexual predator, carefully prepping their prey for an assault, which is literally what people are complaining about. That's what they're complaining about. They're complaining that they are sexualizing five to nine-year-olds, prepubescent children who they have not gone through puberty. That's what prepubescent is. No hormones, no concept of these of these issues. And they're going to them and telling them things so that when they get to that age, they will be primed, groomed, as it were. And these people are like, oh, oh, harumph, I say. They're going to mention it does include uh, ideology as well. And of course it does. Yes. In this instance, the bill is specifically talking about sexual issues, not political issues. But people do have an issue with teachers going to their five-year-olds and trying to indoctrinate them to some cult. Here's one of my favorites. Here we go. From Vice. This is, uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Vice writes this article, conservatives are smearing don't say gay opponents as pedo groomers. Uh, yes, because if you want to have a conversation with about a bunch of five, five to nine year olds, so five year olds, six year olds, seven year olds, eight year olds, and nine year olds about sexual issues in secret, and you don't want the parents to find out about it, I'm just going to go ahead and assume you're a child predator. You shouldn't be doing it. And the bill is clear. Check this out. So in this section, they say, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's so much like the 70s and the right just hates gay people. Some of those using the term argue they're not talking specifically about LGBTQ people when they're using the term grooming, because they're not. Quote, I have never once singled out LGBTQ people because groomers, child predators, can be of any orientation or identity. Pushaw, DeSantis press secretary, told Vice News in an email, your assumption that criticism of grooming is criticism of the LGBTQ community equates LGBTQ people with groomers, which is both bigoted and inaccurate. Do better. And any adult who wants to discuss sexual and gender identity topics with other people's five to eight year old children while keeping this a secret from their parents is either a groomer or is complicit in promoting an environment where grooming becomes normalized. Peshaw said the law doesn't single out or mention LGBTQ people, which is technically true, but misleading. Technically true? No, 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 no. You mean it's literally true. You say it's literally true in that the bill doesn't include those statements. You can then say, but technically, it's misleading. 
You see, when they say it's technically true, your, le- your grammar is off of ice. It is literally true. The bill specifically prohibits classroom discussion about orientation or identity for children in third grade or younger. How is that misleading? You, you can't be like, okay, kids, you're eight years old. It's time to learn about men and women and traditional marriage. No, you can't do that. That's why I said jokingly, somewhat jokingly, it's the don't say straight bill. If they're going to claim it's the don't say gay bill, why couldn't I just be like, now they're, they're claiming that adults who want to teach kids about traditional marriage are groomers. Same thing, right? Except for some reason, conservatives who very much like traditional marriage, I guess, don't mind that that is banned. Just think about that for two seconds. Conservative passed a bill that prohibits classroom instruction on traditional marriage, and they're not complaining about it. Why? The concern is not LGBTQ people, although for many it is. The overarching concern is don't talk to kids in secret about sex. Anti-trans bill reaches an all-time high. You see what, this 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 is how they do it. I do believe when you see like child drag shows, Okay, a child drag show has nothing to do with LGBTQ necessarily on the surface. The, the issues with child drag shows are that you have prepubescent children taking their clothes off on stage for money. This is grooming. Okay, it's grooming. Now, when they say, but you're attacking the gay community, are you implying that there is an issue in the gay community that grooms children for sexual activity? I, 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 I talked to uh, some people I know. Um, people I know who have been strippers. And uh, actually, as many of you know, uh, I believe, uh, well, 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 I'll just, uh, we'll just get to the nitty gritty. In certain states, you can't show full nudity at a strip club. So the women wear bikinis and they call these places bikini bars, but they're still called gentlemen's clubs or strip clubs because the women will go on stage, they'll pole dance, and they'll take off their clothes until they're just wearing their underwear. Men will throw money at them. So many of these women at bikini bars will also strip full nude or at topless bars. There's varying degree. Some people don't realize this, that in some states, like full nudity is not allowed at strip clubs. There are some states that do allow it, some that don't. Some only allow topless. Some don't allow, you know, full nudity or whatever. You get the point. If you have a woman on stage taking off her clothes as men give or anyone gives money to her as she dances, we call those strip clubs. When you have a child drag show, and you have a little boy taking off his clothes until he's down to an underlayer and they're throwing money at him. They are grooming the child to be a stripper. I mean, quite literally, the kid is stripping. That's what stripping is. And then they try and lie, say, no, 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 it's a drag show. Call it whatever you want. You got little boys stripping because you're creepos and groomers and perverts. Now, there are straight women supporting this. And of course, a prepubescent child does not have an orientation. So it is not a LGBTQ specific issue, although drag shows are more associated with LGBTQ communities as opposed to straight communities. But regardless, banning that is not saying anything about whether or not someone who is gay has rights or is good or is bad. You can be gay or trans or queer or a lesbian or bi. And no one's complaining about that. But if you go to a child and say, take off your clothes and I'll give you money, Now you are grooming them. You see, therein lies the big problem. And I just, I just, I just, I think it's absolutely fascinating that the left has doubled down on child drag shows. And I just hope they defend them because it, it, because they, they actually feel that way. And it exposes them to regular people when they write articles. Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? Wow, dude. I, I, I assume some people are saying, you know, he, what, he, what he means is like, why are they talking about it so much? Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? Boy, what a headline. If you wanted to get Republicans elected, that's how you do it. So I pull up the actual bill here, just so we can show the parental rights and education bill one more time. I've got the actual bill here. Now, this summary analysis, in my opinion, I think is the best way to discuss the bill. Why? Well, On the uh, myfloridahouse.gov version of the bill, there's limited information. In the actual bill, there's a lot of legal stuff. And it's just like, well, you know, I don't want to read through the act. The actual language of the bill is it's 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 fluffed up because they they use a ton of words, you know, constructing, prohibiting. 
They, they often do this because for legal reasons. But, but here we go. The summary is actually quite simple. They say, the bill reinforces the fundamental rights of parents by prohibiting school districts from adopting procedures or support forms that prohibit school personnel from disclosing information related to a student's mental, emotional, or physical health or well-being to parents or that encourages students to withhold such information. To put it simply, schools can't keep secrets or encourage it. Prohibiting classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity in the kindergarten through grade three or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards and requiring that parents be notified of all health care services offered at their student's school and given the opportunity to individually consent to or decline each service. Additionally, schools may not administer a student well-being questionnaire, questionnaire or health screening to a student in kindergarten through, through grade three without first receiving consent from the student's parents. The reason why the left is upset. Their intent is to provide some kind of mental or health service so, be it social, mental, physical, or whatever, like giving a child a new identity without their parents knowing. And many parents have complained about this, that their daughters are given male identities at school, and then they're told not to tell their parents. Why? The parents want what's best for the child. The parents are going to be with these kids their entire lives, their entire lives, until the parent passes away. The teacher will be there for about, for about, what, a year? Yeah, that's grooming. You are a creep and a predator if you are trying to take a child from their parents. And that's it. That's what it does. That, that's, that's the summary. But here we go. Against the groomer smear, writes the dispatch. Oh, I love this one from the Daily Beast. Republicans say groomer to put a nice face on homophobia. The new don't say gay law in Florida, just one part of a larger nostalgia for straight up hate. Man, you guys keep desperately trying to make it seem like gay people are, are pedophiles. That's the weird thing to me. Dave Rubin, now not, not a groomer, not going after people's kids. Uh, I, I just, I, he's, he's a gay married man. He, he's having kids. Conservatives have talked to him about how they don't like the idea of surrogacy with his, um, with his husband, me personally. I think those kids are going to be way better off with Dave and his husband and they're going to have a great life because Dave is a man of talent and means and of principle uh, to whatever degree. I mean, you can Dave deserves a lot of criticism for sure. Everybody does. I don't want to make it seem like anybody's perfect. I always say that. But uh, I think Dave having these kids is um, they're going to be well adjusted and good kids. And I'm sure he's going to teach them proper values and, and raise them to be good people and understanding, intelligent. I think that's fantastic. How is that homophobia? Blair White, another example. And you know what they do? They always try to say like, oh, these people are just grifters. And it's like, because you can't recognize that principles exist, that there are many trans people of principle who come out and be like, look, you know, just stay away from the kids. Let the kids be who they are. And when the kids come to an understanding of their bodies as they get older, then you can start having these conversations as, as they begin to ask questions, but don't force them on these kids. Calling out groomers is homophobia. This is the most insane thing ever, thing ever. And this is where the left's nonsense garbage lies just make no sense. They say only white people can be racist, but Candace Owens is a white supremacist. Larry Elder, the black face of white supremacy. Are you nuts? You, look, your, your narrative control is crumbling and it's pathetic. The reality is that there are um, bad people and good people. And there are groomers who are pedophiles, but attracted to the opposite sex. I honestly don't think that matters all that much. I don't think orientation matters all that much when it comes to people abusing children. If there is a 40-year-old man going after a 10-year-old girl at a school, that's disgusting. And if it's a 10-year-old boy, equally as disgusting. Going after children, children should be left alone and not be sexualized. If it is a 40-year-old woman, doing the same thing to either a male or female child. They're, they're groomers. I don't care. It, it's, it's the craziest thing that the, the left is like implying Republicans only care that the male teacher is talking to male students. Homophobia. What are you talking about? I, I'm 100% I'm, I'm, I'm certain that a suburban housewife mother hearing about a 40-year-old woman talking to her son about these issues is also going to be upset. I don't think 
orientation plays a role in whether or not parents get, set, get upset that someone is talking to their children about sexual matters. The Wall Street Journal from April 1st, don't say gay is popular, you don't say. One poll shows backing from suburbs, parents, and Democrats. So be it. The parental rights and education bills are sweeping across this country, especially after what happened in Loudoun County. A young girl was raped, and the school sought to keep it a secret. And a father came in screaming, angry, and he got arrested. Parents want to know what's going on with their kids. Here's what I say to parents. Get your kids out of these schools. Homeschool. Have your kids start uh, go into pod learning. Like This is where you're, you and, your, and, and other families can set up a tutor, hire a teacher who will teach your kids. There's a great business opportunity here, in my opinion. A series of private tutors. And here's what, here, here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what you do. You have three different tutors in three different neighborhoods. And students rotate between each neighborhood and each class is, I said two before, but here's, here's what I'm thinking. In the class, you have kids who are group A, B, or C, or red, green, or blue, if you don't want to do anything overtly hierarchical. On Mondays, they meet with teacher one, and it will be uh, uh, the red group and the blue uh, and the green group of students. On day two, red and yellow meet with teacher two. You see where I'm getting with this? The idea is that the students will weave between each other. So they're always interacting with a different group of kids and they'll interact with different teachers. But each teacher is hired specifically by a local community and is vetted. And the parents know this will be substantially cheaper than many private schools. It'll be substantially cheaper than however much money you're paying into these public schools. I'm also in favor of voucher systems. You know, make it so that parents get a voucher for the school and they can have school choice. But do the pod learning. That way your kids get social interaction with each other. They're around like-minded families of similar values, and you vet the teachers, and you keep the government out of your house. I just want to let, I, I would encourage all of you to take this story. Why are Republicans so concerned about grooming? And just screenshot it. And just share it with all of your friends and ask them, why, why, are, are you not? Do you not care? Weird, huh? I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you all then.